multiple screens here. So let me start again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's uh, great to be here and I just thought I'd turn the camera on just for a moment so you can see that I'm a real person. So once again, a big welcome. We're going to be uh, covering a great deal of information over, it'll probably be about two hours. And yes, the session will be recorded because it's very important that not only do we look for some live trades to take and I explain the process step by step and why I'm taking those trades, but you also have some background because that's how we also develop beliefs in something where you can see where the logic comes from. And I think it's very important. I've been day trading for over 27 years now and I, I need, I'm a researcher. I need to know the logic behind a setup, behind a strategy. So I'm going to be explaining that to you and perhaps going deeper than what most educators will do because I want you to clearly understand why I might take a trade and why I may not take a trade. So a little statement I put uh, in earlier, how we may, how about we make 2023 your best year ever? And what I mean by that, we're about to start a new year. And what a better way to master the art of day trading in a month or two. And I'm gonna show you how to actually do that. So let me now turn the camera off so we can get into this. Now traders, very, very important here that you be open-minded to some of the things I'm going to share with you because I'm going to hold nothing back, meaning once again, I'm going to share the logic behind the setups and some of the key things I'm going to be showing you. So first of all, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. You do not trade with uh, money that you can't afford to lose. And I just need to readjust that screen. There we go, that's the better one. So, uh, and very important, should you start trading with me or, uh, or anyone else, uh, or even on your own, it's important that you start on the simulator. And that's a great thing about most up-to-date um, uh, trading platforms now. You can trade in what we call sim as long as you like. So it gives you sort of a, a definite advantage. And of course, if you're watching the uh, uh, recording, you can pause the, recording to um, read the disclaimer. The bottom line is don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. And even better still, make sure you get the right education. Who's this masterclass for? Well, traders, it's for really anyone that's seeking a part-time or full-time income. If you're brand new to trading, if you're a struggling trader, or even a very experienced trader seeking to increase your bottom line, then this masterclass is for you. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be covering a lot in this webinar because look, I've watched webinars from uh, other traders and other educators per se, and look, uh, to get everything across to you, ultimately, I want you to come and join me in my live trading room, but I need to really lay it all out in front of you. So you get to see what's really involved. And so I need to cover a lot of these subjects, but the good news is this ain't rocket science, okay? Some of it you'll go, aha, now I get it straight away. For other things, it may take a little longer to, see, to seep in to really pick it up. But once again, I'm gonna be sharing some incredibly valuable information with you today. Now, I want you to be open-minded traders and at least be open of a possibility because we live in a society today which is so darn skeptical on everything. And that's why I want to be looking, and let me just quickly check this. Okay, now just there, we just had a setup just then, which we'll come back to. Uh, and once again, we'll be looking at every setup the last 24 hours. And why, why was that not a setup? I'm going to show you. So anyway, getting back to this, um, I just saw that set up on another screen through the corner of my eye. So what would it be worth to you if I could show you how to day trade part-time for part-time or full-time in income, um, uh, 1,000 to 10,000 a week, starting with only a $1,000 account? Now, you're okay. Don't, you don't have to totally believe me yet, but once again, you're gonna see what some of my members are also doing. At least be open of a possibility. Now, how do we realistically earn a big 
big bucks as trading as traders I should say now first of all there's so much hype out there and so many videos that are just they, they just don't talk to you about the risk okay we never ever risk any more than two percent of it on any one trade and that's what a lot of um, what it means ultimately is realistically you need to have seven hundred dollars plus to trade any of the markets we might talk about. Now that's still not a lot of money, but if you want to start trading oil or the ES, you're going to need five to seven, eight thousand dollars. But the great thing is now you can start on the micros and start from there. But the bottom line is, and even for the experienced traders in the room, I want you to be open to this. It's only 10 lots by a hundred dollars a day. Only 100 a day puts you on five grand a week. And I'm gonna be showing you how we do that. Now, for the brand new traders or potential traders here, some of the things I show you may be very foreign to you, may be a different language. You look at the charts and say, how on earth would I learn this? Once again, you can do this as Richard Branson says, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you're not sure you can do it, say yes and learn how to do it later. Once again, trading, what we do is a pattern solving exercise. Now, for perhaps the, even for the brand new traders and for the experienced traders, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I really classify as some of really the best kept day trading secrets out there how we trade floor pivots. And in trading, we have um, uh, what we call tools of a trade. There are technical indicators that we have, <clears throat> excuse me. And there's what we call leading edge indicators, there's trend indicators, there's moment, momentum, there's volume, there's support and resistance. And some of these are what we call predictive indicators because they, they, they plot in advance. And as I'm gonna show you, these are a good 80 to 90% trade every single day of the week. And I'll show you on the charts, we'll have a look at that. The prior days open high, low and close. Once again, plots automatically, easy to identify, easy to see. I'll show you how that works. Major EMAs. Uh, if you look at an 89 EMA, or a 200 EMA from an, a higher time frame on an anchor chart, what you're going to discover is they become price magnets. I'll show you that as well. The special oil support resistance levels. The black gold, the Texas T is a fantastic market to trade, easy to learn. And when I say easy to learn, you don't start live trading. You've got to put the screen time in. So I'm not gonna do the wrong thing by and say you can be trading at the end of a week. That just isn't true. But what I'm gonna show you on the chart is these special levels that we bounce off every day of the week. Uh, we'll talk, well, we won't, mightn't talk too much about that. We'll run out of time, but I'm gonna show you a couple of the world's best day trading strategies and you'll see why they're outstanding very, very soon. Now, very quickly, you need to know how I come across all of these things. Okay, this is uh, myself as a youngster going back actually 28 years ago now. And so how did I pick this up? How did I learn how to day trade? Well, I was involved in a business, made a lot of money out of business, and I thought I'd get involved in trading. And so I started out and I employed some staff to come and work for me, which I'll show you some of their work in a moment. So I had some traders trading my account. We used to call it the Bat Cave because I was based in Australia. And to trade the New York market, that's 11.30 at night, my time. So I had an office in the city in Melbourne, Australia, where we trade from. And uh, that was an interesting journey, which I won't go fully into it, but we'll be talking about some of the things we did discover out of that. Now, from that, I then, created an edge, which you will see, and you'll see why they're advanced very soon. And when I say advanced techniques, well, we'll come back to that in a moment. I'm just trying to hurry through some of this for you. But bottom line is I sold my business. I wanted to get involved in trading. In fact, I ended up investing in a, uh, a share market um, charting business. 
if they used to design, easy charts. So they would design um, uh, trading software or charting packages for traders. Why should you consider day trading career? Well, as you're gonna see very soon, you only need realistically around $1,000. And you're about to see where you can take that $1,000 within a matter of months on a relatively low risk basis. Now, a little bit of credibility here. This is from April, one of my members, uh, an email on the 26th of October. This is not about trying to say, how look how good I am, but I want you to see what my members are doing. Now, uh, with April, her 15-year-old uh, son here is uh, on the simulator, 80% winning trades, and he's only 15. A couple of months later, get another uh, email uh, for April on a setup, which I'll show you. She's got about a 95% accuracy on this setup. She has gone ahead and bought her son a, um, a lifetime licensed ninja trader, and they're talking to her accountant about how he can start trading. Now I'll show you some PowerPoints that members have sent in, and I'll explain why they've sent them in very soon. This is another member from only a couple of months ago, France, uh, English is not his uh, natural language. And this is very important, and this comes to the crutch of how, of why you can relatively easy, uh, easily master the art of day trading. As he says in this email, you always teach us that trading is a pattern solving exercise. And because of that, I've discovered a pattern formation that forms every day. With this one pattern, one can easily achieve $50 daily target very easily with one micro account. Now that's $500 on a big contract. I'll show you, he's now gone ahead for other members and prepared a comprehensive PowerPoint. Why is this important? This is what members are achieving. This is Paul, I want you to look at the date. So um, uh, Paul, I won't mention his, his surname, he's been a member for a couple of years now, and only today he sent through, um, uh, and what happens is here, we have a lot of members that are sharing with other members what they're doing, how they're trading. So we basically creating a trader's uh, environment. And so, as he says here, feel free to share. And he actually trades one of the markets we're going to be looking at today, which is the 6E. And it doesn't matter what you trade, whether it be Forex, futures, the setups I teach you work on all markets and all time frames. It just happens to be today, we'll look at the 6E and the 6A, the currency futures, but it doesn't matter whether it's oil, the ES, it really does not matter. A chart is a chart. And here are the setups that he had for the day uh, on the 6E, which is the uh, Euro currency futures uh, market. This is from Raymond from Sunday. He was working Sunday. And the reason this is important, as a lot of members can see how they're compact, compounding their accounts and what he's done is prepared a spreadsheet for me to share with members of how it only takes 64 weeks starting with an account size of $650 to hit $5,000 a week, um, uh, only earning $20 a day. And that's not risking any more than 2% of your account. The reason I bring this up and show you this, traders, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old, bold traders traders, meaning you've got to be conservative when it comes to your trading. And we'll look at that closer. And just a couple more things before we move on. Uh, most of you have probably never attended my webinar, but when you do, if you join as a member, you have to fill out a form, where all, all your personal details and whatever on it. But I ask every client, how did you hear about my basic program, the Day Traders Fast Track program? Uh, this particular client here, Robert, was from David. This client here was referred by two of my clients. Uh, this one client here, a couple of my friends had switched over your style of success. How did you hear about it? With success. Uh, up here, how, how did you hear a friend we trade through on Skype? 
So traders, the strategies work, but I've got to tell you why they work. I've been researching and modeling what other traders have been doing for years. You name a trading system or strategy, unless you've designed it yourself and you don't sell it, I probably already have invested in it or purchased it. And what I then do is reverse engineer. If somebody says, this is unbelievable, okay, what's the logic behind that strategy? Because what I discovered was through Tony Robbins that success leaves clues. If someone is very good at something, if one person can do it, they may just may be flukish. But if you can get multiple people, multiple people can do something, it can be taught, it can be modeled. And so what I've been doing over the years is modeling great traders. What do they do and how do they do it? But this is probably the most important lesson I've learned. Complexity is your enemy. When I show you my setups on the charts, it's, it still may look a little confusing to a brand new trader, but trust me, they're very simple. And success in trading will only come once you see simplicity on the other side of complexity. Forget the story that you need to go and spend thousands of dollars on indicators and trading methodologies, because I have. You name it, as I've said, I've invested, really, it's in the hundreds of thousands, and we don't have time to go through all the research reports that I've got today, but all of these are indicators that we've I've either had written, and this is just the A's and the B's and the D's, okay? So this is only the start of them. So I've got hundreds. What does that mean to you? I've done the groundwork for you. I've, if you were to look at some of these research reports from my staff have put together, like down there, um, Forex industry reports. What I was looking at, like what were the best times to trade Forex? Uh, trading strategies, I've got literally hundreds of them. And as a researcher, um, as I trade, I've got over 70 of these now. I take copious notes. What? Why is that important for you? Because I'm telling you, I'm gonna give you the best of the best information here. John Shearley. Uh, has worked for me for years. He wrote the book, Energy Trading. He was he's a CTA, um, a very, very good programmer on TradeStation. In fact, here's some of the research reports he's produced. Now, why is that important? Because what I was looking for is winning strategies. Uh, yes, Robert, it is being um, uh, recorded. Okay, so whether it be divergence, or with trend trading, we've done the work. Now, I got so excited by the potential of what I discovered that I also, and you can go and do a, uh, uh, a Google search on it. We trade for you. I bought it back in 2011. I paid 8,000, I still own the name, $8,000. We trade for you. Now, this is, I do not, I'm not a licensed funds manager or CTA, and I don't trade on behalf. So this, let me just say this, uh, I own the domain. Uh, I don't know whether I'll launch a funds management business now, and I'll tell you why, I'm 63. I don't need the money. So I, and I'm not sure if I wanna move back to the state. So I used to live in Santa Monica, by the way. I've got four of my adult children live over there and my grandchildren. So we used to live in Santa Monica, California. And so what I was going to do there in my offices there in Broadway, I was going to open up a funds management business. And this is where a lot of this come from. This is why I was employing these um, traders. I could see the massive potential in trading. So what this has led to is an education business where I trade every day. I run a live room and I run a coaching room where I train traders how to trade and I love what I do. I absolutely love it. And most of you saw perhaps this part of my office there in the background there, I've got invested, you name it, I've probably got it. And what's that mean to you? I'm gonna put you on the fast track. So let's start here to begin with. Don't worry, we're gonna to get to the trading side and the setups as well, but, You've got to have a target. If you don't have an income target, traders, and it's got to be based on logic, it's no good saying, I want to earn 10 to 20 grand a week, yet you're risking five to 10% of your capital. How do you get to 10 to 20,000 a week? 
So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I call it get rich uh, slowly. Now, what is very important though, you put all of this and you have this in writing. Now I've got the tools and at the end of a webinar, you're going to be able to actually, if you haven't already got it, get one of the spreadsheets for this and the training video I've got it. But what is proven now, you're 76 more percent more likely to achieve a goal if it's in writing. And with my members, one of the things we do straight away is to work on their trading plans. Because what would 5,000 a week mean to you? It's a game changer for most people. And that's realistic. If you're aiming for only $100 per lot. Now I know what some of you might say, okay, Ray, well, how much capital then do I need? If you're trading the 6E, which, I, which we're gonna look at how to trade it today, you'd need $25,000 to be earning $1,000 a day. Realist, to stay within the 2% rule. Well, I don't have 25 grand. Well, I'll show you how to get that realistically. But this is the reality. And this is members in my trading room, the results that they can achieve. Now, once again, you've got to work at this. You've got to be willing to put the screen time in. So what Raymond um, did, the, the, the plan that he sent to me a couple of days ago, uh, and he just um, did it for his own sake initially. And I'll just quickly show you this because this is important. Where's the spreadsheet here? So we put together a spreadsheet on step-by-step -step how our members uh, will get to their goal. And as he says here, if you're starting with $650, well, actually, I think it works out to be about $1,250 and risking no more than 2% and going for $20 a day per lot, and I won't go all the way through this. You're at your five grand a week within 64 weeks. Now traders, the, the shame of it is time's gonna pass anyway, but so many traders are not willing to put the time into this for $20 a day. And as you gather confidence, you may choose to put more money in, which will get you there a lot quicker anyway. This is the true potential of what I'm going to be showing you. So we've got all of these spreadsheets. So on money management, I'll just be very quick on this one. So when it comes to money management, the great thing is now you can start with a small account and you can build, start with the micros and I'll show you how you quickly you can compound it, still never ever risking more than 2% and only adding another contract when you double your money. And I'll show you that in a moment because this is so important. So if you're trading the ES, realistically, you're gonna need between five and 8,000. You can trade the micro, you only need 10%. If you like uh, oil, you need around four to $7,000. The 60, which is the market we're gonna be looking at, realistically, you need two and a half thousand. You don't have that, you start on the micro ES or the micro NQ, and there's a heap of other markets. Now, I happen to love the 6A, which is the Australian market, the Aussie dollar, the currency futures market, fully regulated market by the CME, controlled by the you know, NFA, um, CFTC in the US, mean that, that my funds are safe, but there it's only $5 a tick. So my typical risk per contract is only $40 per trade. And that's staying within. So you need to trade this market. You need 2000 per contract. Now, if you're gonna trade say the Euro or the Yen or even the pound, the British pound, realistically you need two and a half thousand because your risk is $50. But as you build your account, you start on the micros. Here's what it really means to you. And so as maybe you, you this is one of the spreadsheets that uh, I'm going to gift to you. If you start off here with two and a half thousand, might be a bit small for you to see there. And if you're netting 100 a day, which I'm going to show you easily how to do today, within 19 weeks, you've got the potential there to be earning 10,000 a week in 19 weeks. And before you go and say, oh, BS, 
let me just tell you how it's done. You start off with one contract, 100 a day. When you double your money, you get a second contract. When you get another two and a half thousand, you start trading a third contract. When you get another one, you start trading four. You can't be any more realistic. Now the question will be is, well, can you really earn a hundred dollars? Well, once again, I'm gonna show you, we'll go to the charts, I'll show you how to do that. And um, so that's on the hundred. Now, what if then I go for 125? I'm there within 15 weeks, my 10 grand a week. What if I go for 150 a day? And that's the maximum. If you're trading three hours, that's sort of still realistic, maybe four hours, okay? But I'm against a day trader trading eight hours a day because you suffer from what we call decision fatigue. So that's four eight tick trades a day or five um, or seven five tick trades a day. 12 weeks starting off, there's nothing else like it. Look where your capital is at that stage. Excuse me one moment. Our capital down here is now 49, 50,000. This is the true potential. Now, a very important factor traders when it comes to trading is the psychological side of trading. You see, the setups as I explained to you and you're gonna, and I'm gonna teach you how to trade them today, uh, is pretty straightforward, okay? But it's not the setups. Trading is 90% psychology. It's watching for the greed, the fear, all of these things, what comes into the mix. That's why traders are not making the money, it's the money management and all of those things are coming. Now, how, what I teach members is that if you'll say after $100 a day, forget the 100. On the right side of the ledger, I wanna see 16 ticks net up to 24 ticks. This is, uh, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and this is not what this webinar is about, by the way, is that number one is get my private clients, forget the money, whether it be 10 grand a day or whatever it is, we focus on the ticks, how many we want. If you trade the ES, realistic target, as you probably know, if you're trading during New York was 400 a day per contract, that's 30, uh, 32 ticks or oil is 40 ticks. So the psychological approach is very different. Now, if you say to me, okay, Ray, I've got, already got 20,000, this is looking interesting, or even 10,000, I'd say, okay, that's fantastic. Let's still start you on a micro contract and build from there. Make all the mistakes you're gonna make on a micro. And this is where traders just don't believe the money they can make starting with only 10 to $50 a day. So let me show you this. Now. Uh, and by the way, I love this quote here because I have traders sometimes, oh, I could never do this. You could never do this. Can you drive a manual or can you drive a car, a, a, a stick, stick shift car? Of course I can. Well, that's, if you can do that, you can trade. So it's, and as Tony Robin, he usually says the bear story you keep telling yourself. You can do this traders. So here's some screenshots out of uh, the training room and training members. Now here I've sort of, you can't see my full name there uh, on my account there, but this is just trading a micro because what I teach the members is they're after $50 a day and we usually hit that in an hour or two, okay? So, you can, and that's per micro. Now that's 630 on a big contract, that's 750 and that's 880 on a big contract, that's 920. Uh, um, or after commissions, if you like, uh, that was 750. Okay, oh, and that's before commissions, by the way. Our goal always is to net $50 per micro that's being traded. And here's why this is important, is that by starting off small, you can build your confidence. So here, if you're trading like the micro NQ, which um, I used to call it the nasty NAS, I've reframed it, I now call it the nifty NAS, the NASDAQ. On $50, if you have 1,000 in your account, never risking any more than $20 a trade, okay, you're up to your 10 grand a week or whatever goal you, I want to say whatever goal it is, you might only be after two grand a week, but 10 grand a week in 18 weeks, the same rules apply. In fact, Raymond's spreadsheet 
be prepared on $20 a day. It takes you 64 weeks to get there. What if you only go for $10 a day? So if you say to me, Ray, I'm so paranoid about this, I'm scared about trading. Well, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. What if you started trading a micro with $700 in your account and only going for $10 a day? In week 32, it's actually taking you 32 weeks to build your account from $700 to $4,000. You then switch over to the big contract and you, you're once again, you're going for 10 times the amount. So remember on the micro, you're after $10 a day. Here, we're after $100 a day, okay? Well, bottom line is this. In 66 weeks, at 16 months, you're earning 10 grand a week. And all you've started with is $700. That is the potential. The challenge is most traders are not willing to put the screen time in and to learn how to trade correctly. So how are we gonna learn how to trade correctly? First of all, um, two day trading Bibles I recommend is a Discipline Trader by Mark Douglas. Now Mark unfortunately passed away far too young a couple of years ago. But one of the most important things that Mark gets across in page 209, to become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is mathematical rather than, um, sorry, that is, sorry, mechanical instead of mathematical. So he'd be working with a visual representation of the market behavior. The patterns I'm going to be showing you shortly as you'll see, they are all patterns. They are mechanical rules-based patterns, okay? Where I lose traders or where some traders decide, okay, I'm not gonna join is because I'm too conservative in what I'm showing the earnings are. Now, if you think what I'm showing you here is conservative, you can see you can become very wealthy, but it's about rules-based trading. So. First of all, how do we consistently achieve 75 to 95 percent? Okay, trade with the trend to begin with. Buy the dips, sell the rallies. Yes, I'm a very good counter trend trader. I've also been doing this for over 27 years. So you, you'll see that in the rooms, I won't live trade divergence trade. Do you know why? But I'll show members the ones I've taken because I don't want you to divergence trade initially. I teach you how to do it, but you've got to master trading with the trend. And how we do that is we're going to use a couple of time frames. And it's just a matter of getting used to having a couple of charts open. The dark blue line is the higher time frame. We want to be trading in the direction, waiting for a pullback and trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Okay, that's it. That's really the number one secret to what we do. Now, before we go to the charts in a minute or so, a couple of minutes, what we're gonna be looking at Renko charts today. I'll actually also quickly show you, I'll show you, uh, you know, April, my member, I teach members how to trade with, um, did I leave that one open? Let me just see how to use Heikinashi or hard charts. Got a very interesting chart I've created called a hard chart. She loves them as a lot of other members do. And I'm just setting up on another screen so I don't forget to show you this. So it doesn't matter what type of chart that you, you wanna trade on. Um, so say for an example, if you're an experienced trader and you love your um, uh, tick charts, you can stay with your tick. You might love your range. You can stay with your range. It doesn't really matter. Now, um, and actually, let me just show you this right now, and then I can move on, otherwise I might forget. This trade is, is called a hard chart. It's a combination between um, uh, a Heikinashi and a Renko chart. And this is called a two tick. This is on the Euro, okay? What you'll notice here is, and this is really a trading system within its own. Notice how when it's green, 
it's pretty much stays green. Look how it stays red. See how it picks the turns beautifully. And remember how one, oh, you may not have noticed it, but uh, April in a PowerPoint um, in the email a week or so ago said 95% uh, um, winners. Uh, now that was in all of the back testing. Now realistically, you won't always achieve that because of speed. And by the way, the only reason these setups won't work is if you're trading the wrong time frame, a too fast a time frame. Okay, like we look at this here. See that one there? You had one there, 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 there. You had one, uh, and I'll show you why that wasn't a trade, but you had one there. The only reason you don't get these traders is if the market's pumping too fast. And that is where then you just need to increase the time frame, and I'll show you a little trick in a moment. I've got the chart ready for you of how you you pick the right time frame. Now, remember I mentioned to you, um, and I just why I see it here, the pivots, the floor pivots. Look at this here. See how price comes down. We bounce on a pivot. See how price. This see that blue line there and these red lines. These are called pivots. They're automatically on your chart and they're free. Okay, see we rallied up, we hit the pivot. See how we come down, we hit the pivot. Uh, we rallied up past the pivot. We just missed the pivot here. Pivots are one of, and see how now price has come down. We went through that one and see, this is as we're talking now, this is live. See how we've come down and hit the pivot. I want you to think for a moment. Imagine if you knew how price, how to identify when price is gonna come down and hit the pivot. It's easy. And we come down and we hit the pivot. And as you'll see in a moment, hourly average is 92% winning trades. Pivot, and they're called pivot magnet trades. That's what they are. Now just very quickly today, because it was um, we've had a short week and it's of course, and happy holidays everyone, by the way. Um, the pivots are very close together. So if we've got any experienced traders in the room, you'll notice that the pivots are close. It's because of the odd trading hours we've had the last couple of days. So normally pivots are not so close together. In fact, the PP, that's called the central pivot. This is called the S1 midline. And how it works traders, just may as well quickly tell you about the, actually this is good, there's a couple of things here. So you've got S1, then you've got uh, S1M, that's the 50% level. Then you've got the S1. Then you get down to the S2, that stands for support. When you go above your main pivot, it's R1, R2, R3, which stands for resistance. Now, see that cyan colored line here? And see that hot pink and there's little blue line? They're um, uh, part of the open, high, low and close. Price gets drawn to those every day. You could simply trade pivot bounces off the open high, low and close and floor pivots and trade nothing else as you will see when we get to the main charts very soon. Look how we just keep coming down, going up and hitting the pivots. Look at this. Look how we come up there and we hit the pivot. You see this every single day. And the beautiful part about it is they're easy to trade. So throughout all my years of trading, uh, I've got many different types of setups. And by the way, there are literally hundreds of trading methodologies for true work, that truly do work. It's not the setup, it's the trader waiting for the, uh, uh, the, the rules of the setup to actually set up, sitting back, waiting patiently. And as I say to all traders, become a specialist, focus on only one or two strategies until you're consistently profitable. And even then, less is more. You may, and, and I recommend as you'll find out, the 2B, and I want you to write this down and not forget this, the 2B, the best of best setups I teach. Well, I shouldn't say these are statistically better, but, but the 2B is very easy to set up which we're going to be looking at. You don't need to learn all of these. For the experienced traders I know, and, and for the real thinkers, you wanna know what they are, and that's okay, I'll teach you what they are, but the 2B is the number one. Now, uh, from Ali, Ali's actually a professor. Now, Ali uh, says, if a T28, that's the pivot magnets. 
uh, I sent him an email like, how are you going Ali with your T28s, with your uh, stats? He named it the T28. In fact, what Harley did, he prepared a PowerPoint for our members. Okay, he said, look, um, this may help your members. Uh, and so I just always called it a pivot magnet trade. He's called it the T28. It stays at 85 to 90% win rate on the ES. It's only a formalization of my strategy. Um, so traders, can you make money 85, 90% of it? Especially, I know some people say, well, if your stops 100 ticks, you're only going for two ticks. Well, of course, then you're not gonna make money. But if your stop is six ticks and you're going for six ticks typically, of course, it's brilliant. That's the pivot magnet trade. Um, and members that um, are traded, I swear by the pivots, my profits have more than doubled. Um, you're right, pivot magnets are kicking some serious butt. And you know what's a great thing about pivot magnet trading? Besides it's easy to learn, it's trading with the trend. It's predictive. It's trading with the trend to traders. It's a, so easy to learn, provided you're willing to put the screen time in. Now. Another brilliant setup here that I've got, which has been around for years, is the 34B. Uh, and this is from 2016 and eight years, oh, what is it, six years later, still kicks butt nearly every day on this one, 82% winning trades uh, on the, the 34B. Guess what it is? It's a trend following strategy. And this is um, one of my uh, traders just trading the 34B and the 2B. These are all his entries, okay? Just trading that. Look, and I wanna be fast on some of these. Um, just, look, I've just got, look, by the way, I've got 10,000 members now. I've got uh, about 300 that are in my trading room. Now, this is one of my um, screenshots here of my trading in the room, and this is important. So I want you to take notice, please, what I'm about to show you here. This is trading pivots and the round numbers. Remember I said to you on oil that there's some special numbers. I'll tell you what they are. Let's start with the pivots to begin with. When you, when you have a divergence trade or have what we call a T3, which is also known as a slingshot trade or, or an elastic band trade here, sorry. Um, when you bounce off the pivot, see how we bounce off that red line? We ended up bouncing here and see how I bounced off for 74 a barrel. Okay, very, very high probability. Your best divergence trades or reversals will be off pivots and round numbers. Now, on oil, the round numbers are 74, 80 cents, 50 cents and 20 cents. So say if we looked at 74, so 74, 73.80, 73.50, 73.20, 73.30, 73.40, 73.45, 73.50, 73.60, 73.70, 73.80, 73.85, 73.90, 73.91, 73.92, 73.93, 73.94, 73.95, 73.96, 73.97, 73.98, 73.99, 73.100, 73.101, 73.102, 73.103, 73.104, 73.105, 73.106, 73.107, 73.108, 73.109, 73.110, 73.111, 73.112, 73.113, 73.114, 73.115, 73.116, 73.117, 73.118, 73.119, 73.120, 73.121, 73.122, 73.123, 73.124, 73.125, 73.126, 73.127, 73.128, 73.129, 73.130, 73.131, 73.132, 73.133, 73.134, 73.135, 73.136, 73.137, 73.138, 73.139, 73.140, 73.141, 73.142, 73.143, 73.144, 73.145, 73.146, 73.147, 73.148, 73.149, 73.150, 73.151, 73.152, 73.153, 73.154, 73.155, 73.156, 73.157, 73.158, 73.159, 73.160, 73.170, 73.171, 73.172, 73.173, 73.174, 73.175, 73.176, 73.177, 73.178, 73.179, 73.178, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 73.179, 
these levels. You sell or buy into these. If we're trading with the trend, you sell into them, you sell into them. This is what makes them an 80 to 90% winning trade. It's a trend following strategy. See how we come up, we hit it. See how we come up, we hit it. See how we come up, we hit it. Now that may not look like much of a move, but every tick is $10 traders, okay? So these are pivot magnet trades and round number trades. Now, and I know I'm being very quick on these, but they're just so reliable as a strategy. So here, straight off there, okay, $60 per contract. Now it's only, I know it's only 300. And by the way, no, I don't trade 100 lots. Why? I trade my comfort level. And so don't believe the, the stories are out there how every second trader trades 100 lots if you're a full-time trader. It's just not true. The older you get, the more conservative you'll get. Uh, you want to lower your risk parameters. For the young guns, no doubt here, and the young guns, they've got a bigger thirst for risk. They're willing to go. Hey, I like to have a, a low stress life, okay? Now, and so I want you to quickly note that there. That there is what we call a T12, and you'll see this on the charts when we go to the live charts in a moment. Very high probability. You have a 200 EMA overshoot, we've got a bounce of 74 and you've got a bounce at the 200, that makes it a T12, very high probability setup. All right, so let me show you what I'm looking for. So this is my 2000 a day blueprint. First thing we wanna know is the volume. Now because of um, uh, where I live now, I live in the tropics in Queensland, uh, 12 o'clock central uh, uh, time is around 4 a.m. my time. So between three and four, I would usually uh, get up in the morning and do the afternoon session. I also, of course, do the London session. That's what I've got a, a live trading room that I run the open of the London uh, just before the US market opens. What we want to be concerned about with any market we trade is what's the daily volume. Now, this is for yesterday's market. Now, on the ES, uh, we only had uh, 900,000 contracts traded and it's holiday week, of course. Normally on the ES, you've got 1.5 to 2 million contracts traded. On the Aussie dollar, normally we're up to 75,000. On the year over 6C, normally we're up there at 250,000. So our volumes are about half at the moment. Now in the market analyzer, I just um, just have here markets that I like or uh, am interested in. Um, if you trade stocks, of course, you may, you'll may have it set up differently or if you trade Forex, etc. it doesn't really matter. So let's go to the charts and let's have a look for some potential trades. And I'm gonna explain these step-by-step step for you. But there's a couple of things there that we've got to really look at and consider any trading day. First of all, we've got to know where our pivots are. Now that's easy because, and by the way, all of my indicators are free to my members, but if you don't even become a member, most good trading platforms will have pivot indicators there. And we've got, when it comes to pivots, we've got two types of things I'm looking for. What I call pivot magnets, PMs or T28s, that's where we're selling or buying with the trend into a pivot. And then we've got the PBs, which is the pivot bounces. Great for divergence. The prior days open, high, low and close. Can plot automatically, the same thing. The major EMAs. Remember that T, that, uh, T12 I just said, oh, there's a T12. What that is, that's where you get a bounce on a higher time frame. You get these every day. Unfortunately, most traders don't understand or really know how to trade higher time frames. And I've discovered over the years that there's a formula that I've come up with that tells us exactly, say if you're trading a 100 tick chart, there's a formula it's very, it just tells you what you need to set up as your anchor chart one and anchor chart two, and look for those bounces. 
Anyway, we'll look at that in a moment. Prior swing highs and lows, won't get too much into that. But the other important thing here, traders, is that are you a scalper or are you a day trader? Excuse me, one moment. And what I mean by that, what, what size, are you gonna go for a larger target or a smaller target? You see, what it, uh, I'm really after is I'm more of a scalper. That is what suits my trading style. That is, I wanna get in and out of the trade. So now we're on the charts. So let me explain exactly what we're looking for. First of all, let me explain the chart setup that I've got here. Now, I've actually got, um, and let me just pull this up here for you, it's probably easier. So normally, this is what I'd have, because I've got six screens. So normally on the lower screen, I've got what I call my entry chart, okay? And this is my main trading chart I trade off. Then just above, I then have this, the upper screen. I've then got my, um, just get that to close down. I've got my anchor chart one and anchor chart two. New traders, don't be intimidated, intimidated by this. It's really straightforward once you understand the logic behind this. Once again, into the pivot, into the 200, into the pivot, up to the massive at white line, that's the prior day's close. Over here, into the pivot and a bounce off for 200. What you'll discover is there are these, well, I call them magic levels and they plot automatically. Um, we just bounce off day in, day out and you can develop your whole trading career just selling into or buying into these levels. So what I've got here on the left, uh, and quite often it'll just look like this, is a two tick Renko chart. As I mentioned, you can use um, a tick, you can use a time-based chart, it doesn't really matter. Well, that's actually a bit too broad. I shouldn't quite say that. Um, time-based charts, the challenge with time-based charts is the candles are so big. Big candles are evil, as I say. Okay, now remember a couple of minutes ago, I said there was a setup and that was just after we got underway there. See that there? What we're looking for is we're following our EMAs. When you get a deep pullback, so see our price pull back here. That's what we call a 2B there. See our price pull back up here? See that line there? That's a 200 EMA. Traders, what's the direction of the trend at this stage? We're in a downtrend. So this is my entry chart. On the right hand side, I've got my anchor chart one. What's the direction of the trend on the anchor chart one? Well, if I expand it, we can see we are now in a downtrend. By the way, look at your pivot bounces again, down into the pivots. Now, so what we can see, we're in a downtrend. Whenever you have a deep pullback, and this is a very simple rule, whenever we get a deep pullback back here, yes, we've got a bounce, and yes, we've got a bounce, but do I have any divergence with the trend confirming the move? See that there, that's called divergence. Once you spend 10 hours or so with training with me, you'll, you'll recognize these in a blink of an eye. But what you've got here, higher high on price, lower high on my MACD, and this is called a 3B. We're bouncing here, we're bouncing here. And let me show you the high, even higher time frame, uh, wherever that, I stopped it from moving, but wherever that was, uh, that's up here, we were bouncing here. So what I've actually got there, traders, is three separate time frames that are all trending in the same direction. All had a retracement and what we call a trend continuation trade. Now, what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for what we call a 2B. Now, I'll come back to that in a moment. Now, if we look 
then at the Aussie dollar. So this is the Aussie dollar, the market opened uh, over here at um, uh, 1700, come back down, we had there a bounce, come back down and now we've got a bounce here. And what we need to look at is do we, and see this here, that's called angulation by the way. When you see price action angling away, okay, that's called angulation. If anyone's ever been familiar with Bill Williams, not a trade of it's passed away, but Bill Williams, uh, he's actually known as the godfather when it comes to trading fractals. See those little black dots just there? They're called fractals, okay? Once you understand how they work, very, very simple concept. So, um, and here's another key setup. See that um, uh, green line just there? So we'll go back to the main chart in a moment and look for some setups. But see that there, that's called an 80-20 trade. Now, this is another thing I got from researching. Uh, Dick Diamond. Some of you in the US may have heard of uh, Dick Diamond. He lives down in Florida now, but traded for many, many years. Now, once again, Dick never traded any more than 10 lots on his own account, but he has what he calls the 80-20 trade, okay? And the 80-20 trade, he uses uh, the Williams percent R. But I discovered a certain way of using a short-term stochastic does the same thing. See how we've crossed over here, if not better, in my opinion. See over there, if you sold there, see how it's now turned green? You could have stayed in all the way in this trade. Now you look at that there and think, how do I make money out of that? Well, traders, each one of those steps down is worth $6.50 per contract. To net 100 a day, you only need 16 of those. That's all you need to net 100 per contract. Do you know what that is a return per day? That's a 4% return on your money per day. All right, so let's seriously look for a setup. Now, first of all, we're going, we've gone back to the sixth E and it wouldn't matter whether this is the uh, ES and by the way, let me just show you the ES. So what I've got here, you've all heard of the ES. Um, and I may as well explain these because this is perfect on the ES to show you. See this pullback here and here, both of those are what we call two Bs. That one, that one, this one will probably be a 2B as well. I'd need to look at the anchor chart. A 2B is a deeper pullback. See the white paint bar? That's my super scalper. Now that does not plot until the third candle. So even though it looks great there and say, beauty, if I traded every white candle, yes, it'd make an absolute fortune, but it doesn't complete until the close of the third candle. Okay, so these are what we call uh, two Bs. Now, each one of these step downs is worth $12.50, okay? So 12.50, you do the math. So back on the this, let's just, so we've probably got uh, a couple of minutes here because to get a setup, I need a deeper pullback. Also note, we've come down and hit again. So, First of all, remember the rules of a pivot magnet trade. We're selling into the pivot. But what I've done, and I know some of you will probably join me uh, today after we, I show you the rest of what I'm gonna show you, but I wanna show you quickly this and then we'll get back to the chart. Actually got it set up on another screen here. But see that there, that's a 2B. That is 2B. You had trades all the way down here, 34 Bs, but I'll just show you the two Bs. And the reason I'm pointing these out, <clears throat> the two B setup is a 100% mechanical rules-based setup. There's your first loss out of those. That was a three B, just there. This is your danger zone. Whenever you see, see the difference between that there and this here, see how we're trending. I won't explain all of these indicators, they're very easy, but down the bottom here, what we're looking for 
is to see and to be trading a trendy market. Whenever you're going sideways like this, sit on hands. But this is a beautiful thing about day trading. Like from that there to that there, that was 10 minutes away. You've, there's always another bus coming just around the corner. Meaning, and that was 10 minutes before then. There are that many setups each day. You can trade the best of the best. These are both two Bs. You had trades on the way, and that was a two B. I've only marked up the two Bs. And I've also mentioned pivot magnet trades, okay? Two Bs. Now, why not take this two B? And I'll explain two Bs what exactly they are in a moment. We're right on the pivot. So when you sell or buy right at a pivot level, we usually get a bounce or some resistance. Sometimes, like here, you'll go through. So say if I sold up here, that's okay. I'm already in the money. If I bounce, I've trailed my stop and made money. But whenever you have a trade entry right on the pivot, you don't want to take it. You want to stand aside. There is one condition where we'll, we'll put that to the side. I won't get into that now. It's called a bet the farm trade. But when you're right on the pivot, you don't want to take a trade. Now, just here, uh, and let me just check upstairs. Just looking at another screen here, so I can point this out to you. Uh, this is just there was a divergence trade uh, called a 2D. And I want you to understand these. So just up here, you had a divergence trade with trend. We're in a downtrend. I've got divergence here on my MACD. See, we've come down now. I've got divergence from there to there on my MACD at a lower low. Now this one is probably a 2D. Uh, no, it's not. We'll see, check my anchor chart. Yes, it is. So what exactly is a 2D? A 2D traders is where you've got the same setup on multiple time frames. See that down here? It's very subtle, very easy to recognize once you see them a number of times. That is divergence. I've got a pivot bounce that makes this here 2D. 2D meaning two divergences. I had divergence on my highest time frame and I had divergence here. And because I'm around the pivot, it's what we call a pivot bounce. Usually, when you have these setups, we'll rally back up to either the 89 EMA or the 200 like clockwork if the divergence trade starts to move. The 89 is our first port of call and the 200 will be our second. And there's a reason why we target those, which I won't go into today. But here, divergence on the highest time frame usually will mean a deeper pullback on our lowest time frame. When we have this pullback to either the 89 or the 200, this will then become what we call a 2BD. Very simple what a 2B means, means I've got a double bounce, two bounces. I'm either gonna bounce here or up here. I'll either, and which means I'll also bounce over here. Now you may be thinking, crumbs, a 2BD, what's the D? It means it's after divergence, which means it's a higher risk trade. So let's just see if we get a setup here. Just wait a moment. Now on the Aussie, just while we're waiting for this to pull back, we'll just look at this here for a minute. The Aussie, which is $5. So each one of these step ups like here is worth $5. Look at my 80-20 trade. See that little triangle there and there? What's the color of the, of the, the, the cloud? Orange. See that there? 
This is the 80-20 trade coming down. See the triangle just there? We are changing market direction. As soon as my cloud turns blue, that is my long 80-20 trade just there. So if we go back here, okay, now see this here, we're a long, long way down here for this trade entry. See that just there? Got to be careful you're not too far away from the market turn. But this is another very reliable mechanical trade setup. Thanks to Get Diamond, put me on the on the concept, but using a different indicator, and I find this works even better. Now, just here. Okay, so right here, right now, we've got. Um, let me just on the other chart. Now I'm about to get a 2B setup short. Now just remember traders, this could be, it may not be a winner as well. So I'm now short a trade. So let me just say here, because it's a very deep pullback, I'm gonna lift my stop loss one tick above. Okay, so my stop loss is one tick above. I perhaps jumped in a little early on that one, but never mind. So I'll explain this. Have I got the 2B set up here? Sorry. Uh, no, I don't, but let me just quickly change that one here. I actually jumped in too early on this, but never mind. Talking and trading, you don't talk and trade by the way at the same time, or you shouldn't talk and trade. Um, so just here, that's a four, yep, and that's a two. Okay, so let me just explain what we've got here. This trade is, is what we call our classic 2B. Price retrace back. I've hit the, um, the uh, uh, 200 EMA and I've hit the 89. And see how the candle here is closed. So this is my classic 2B short. This is a 2B short. That was a 2B, that was a 2B, 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 and this is a 2B. That was a 2B. Uh, that was a 2B, that was not quite, a, that was a 2B. Very mechanical in their nature. And generally speaking, a 2B is going to be a good 80 to 90% trade. Now, generally speaking, my stop loss on these is, uh, on my ATM is eight ticks. And I've got an eight tick stop loss here. Now you may notice I had to increase my stop loss to put my stop one tick above just there. So if you were trading one contract there, your stop loss would have been $45. The only time you want to actually move your stop loss is just to do what, unless you're in the money, and I'll discuss that in a moment, is when I entered that trade, I got it, it was in a bit, it was actually I thought I was in late, I was looking at another chart, but I had to increase my stop loss by one tick to be one tick above, okay? Means I've got a, a nine tick stop loss. Say if the trade starts to go against me, we never, ever, ever move our stop loss hoping the market will come back. Likewise, if I had have taken this trade over here, which was at um, uh, 1806 central time, where would have my stop loss been? One tick above, where's my target? Now, because I increase my target, my stop by one tick, I'll usually move, just what's, depending what's in front of me, I'll sometimes, I won't always, and I'll explain why in a moment, I'll increase my target by one or two ticks as well. Now, see this down here, this is a swing low. This is not good for me so far. The candle did close, so we're just gonna stick with this. But see this down here, this is a swing low. If you were going to go for a larger target, that would be the time 
you'd be going for that target. Okay, if you want to go for a larger target, now's the time to do it. Remember in that slide I said we need to know where our pivots are, where our open, high, low, and close is, where our round numbers, and where our lows and highs are. These also become price magnets. Now, with this trade just here, what I could have done, and I want to make sure I get some trades in for you, is if I wanted to be really safe on this trade, remember on this one here, I said to you to wait, wait there for the divergence. See that just there? See how we had the higher high in price? But on this one, we're back to the 200, but see how I don't have that divergence. So whenever you have a deep pullback like this, a very deep retracement, you can see here we're trading in the direction of a trend, we're in a definite downtrend. If you want some added insurance, you can wait for divergence which I don't have at this stage, but I've entered this anyway. And the reason I've entered it is that two Bs, as I mentioned, are an 80% trade every day of the week. Okay, so that's why I've taken that. You see, in the end, what you've got to learn to be successful as a trader is <clears throat> you forget the individual trade. This one trade means nothing. Anything can happen. Someone with a fat finger can go and press a market order for say 200 contracts and spike me out of this trade when it was the best of the best setups. Traders, you've got to start to learn and think in trading probabilities of 20 trades. That's how we trade. We think and trade in probabilities of 20. You see, if you've got 80% winners on average, over 20 trades, you should have, on average, uh, 16 winners. The best sample size you can use is 100. So if you find that you've got a strategy over 20 trades, kicks butt, say 15, 16 times out of 20, you're onto something. What you then do is go and test it over 20 trades. Sorry, my apologies, over 100 trades. If it works on 20, it should give you similar set of figures. What we also look at then, what's the longest run of losses? With two Bs, it is very, very unusual to have four losses in a row. Very rare to have four losses in a row. If you're trading two Bs correctly, because when you understand the logic, the full logic, aha, uh -huh, we're trading in the direction of multiple time frames. So just uh, plotting away just here at the moment. Now while we're waiting for this, let's just check out the the uh, euro here. Now remember before I said there were two targets, the 89 or the 200. And see how we've come back to the 89. Let me tell you how I can give you these numbers or, or spots exactly. It's this. Let me go down here to the four tick. Where are you? Oh no, I changed that one. That's right. What I was about to say is that, let me show you on this one. What we actually do traders is see the gold line. That's a 34 EMA. The 34 EMA is a price magnet. Once you understand how we incorporate that with all of our time frames, price action comes back to the 34 every, just so often. So if you've got divergence here on this time frame, where am I expecting price to come back to? Back to the 34. So we always look at our highest time frame. If the highest time frame we're trading's got divergence, first thing we want to know is where's the 34 EMA? It just happens to be that is usually the 200 EMA on our entry chart. So let's just watch this. Okay, I'm expecting this is on the 6E. 
I'm expecting price will pull back to here. If we, if we don't bounce here, and then it'll become a pivot magnet trade, we'll bounce here. But let's just go back to the Aussie where we do have a trade at the moment. And we're still just fluffing around this area. So as I mentioned, one thing that I, I could have done to be very conservative is weighted for divergence. Now, see this black line here, this red and black, what that is, that's the 21 EMA of my anchor chart one. So if you ever wanna be really conservative with the trading, I want you to look at this, see where it turns red? What happens when it's red? I'm in a downtrend. See when it turns black. What happens when it's black? I'm in an uptrend. Let's look at this here. What happens when it turns red? I'm in a downtrend. What happens when it turns black? I'm in an uptrend. And I can just go on and on and show you. Okay, now this does not replot, meaning when it's red, it's red. So see this here, another thing I could have done if I wanted to, as a new trader or wanting to be very conservative is to wait, and this is called an overlay chart. And I should explain this to you. <laughs> this is called an overlay chart. See how it's still black? Technically speaking, on the higher time frame, I'm still in an uptrend, okay? It's starting to roll over, but if I wanted to be conservative, I could have waited for that. Now, let me explain what an overlay chart is. An overlay chart is very simply, this lower window you can see here, I've got a number of indicators here that I have on my higher time frames. I've got them in this window here, so I can have this fully expanded and I can see what's happening here on my higher time frame on the one window. This tells me everything almost I need to know about. Okay, so it's telling me the direction of the trend. And in fact, if you probably already guessed, yes, you can trade these. You can trade your 80-20s. Look at those there, see that when you get the crossover. The best time you wanna trade them though is after you've had either divergence or angulation. What's angulation again? See how price is angled away? Okay. Now, while we were still waiting for this trade here to set up, and it's a very slow time of day, obviously, here, and it's a Globex, what you can be doing is what um, Paul Smith trades. Paul's a gentleman in that sent me this slide this morning. Where's his slide? I'll show you this because this is the same market just here paul loves to trade the one tick chart rather than the two tick i just tend to find the one tick can be a little fast at times um, and paul loves to trade as you can see there he trades um 5 a.m to 7 a.m eastern that's when he's trading Okay, and he likes the one tick. I like to, to have a slightly higher time frame, so it gives me a greater time to place the trades and move things around. For example, a 2B, one of the huge advantages you've got with, with a 2B, it's a deeper pullback, gives you a lot more time to set up. Now, on this, we can see we're actually bouncing here now. I'll wouldn't be surprised if I get stopped on this. But what I want you to show, what I pointed out was, see that down here? My anchor chart was still in an uptrend. Now look at my MACD. See that there, see how it's now come down. Remember on that last chart I showed you where we had divergence? So if you wanna be conservative with deep pullbacks, you wait for um, uh, the divergence in the direction of the trend. New traders, this may, may sound like gobbledygook at the moment, but it's actually very straightforward once you understand that we're about to be stopped out of this. Now, 
with this, I'll be stopped at 90, sorry, at uh, $45 per contract if I do get stopped. Now at this stage, we can see here, we've come up and tested that high right to the tick. That's what we call it. So I'm pretty certain I'll be stopped because all the markets are moving up at the moment. But you know, it's statistically, we've got to think in probabilities and statistics traders. Okay, and once again, if you want to be really conservative as a new trader, see this line here, you wait for it to turn red. See up there your 2B, by the time we got there, it turned red. See, oh, well, that was the open, okay, so there. Now, that's not a 2B, by the way. So this one is not a 2B. Why we're only, we're, and also we're bouncing directly off the pivot. So that's not a 2B, but deeper pullbacks. And what you actually see is we've got multiple, see how we're bouncing here and bouncing here. That's a 2B. See that one just there. We're bouncing. Here's another little trick I'll give you before I move on, because I don't want to go for hours and hours, is this. See over here traders how, and let me just make sure I've got the right time there. That was at 1800. Yep, so, uh, just, sorry, I'm just making sure I'm showing you the right spot. So, yep, this is the right spot. So, see how I've got a green candle on my anchor chart just here. See how it's turned green. And that's that point just there. See how the next candle was green. But see how then I had a little bounce just there at 7, 1746. 1746, that's right there. You don't have what we call a short trade, a sell there. Why? You're selling against the green candles on your higher time frame. See how then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight green candles all the way up to there. When would I then enter that trade? I do not enter this trade until this candle closes. Now that candle would not have closed to 25, which is right there. It's usually five candles down, one, two, three, four, five. So my entry on this trade would not be until this candle closed. Now, over here, this candle did close. And as I mentioned, I'm about to probably be stopped out of this. So it did qualify in that sense. So there's little nuances with trading that are very straightforward, okay, that are also very, very important to when we trade. Now, unfortunately, we're not getting much in today because it's, well, very, very slow on trading time. Now, before we go back to the PowerPoint, something I wanna show you again here is the 80-20 trade. See over here, that, if you've got NinjaTrader 8, I don't have it for any other platform. However, the rules to it, what causes it, is very straightforward. Okay, what, what, why that plots. And by the way, see that white line just there? Traders, what that is, that's only a two period RSI. That's a two period RSI just there. Um, and people say, can you make money a two period? You bet you can make money with a two period RSI. I'm just trying to think of his name. Um, really famous trader, as he said, if there's only one indicator he could ever have, it would be a two period RSI. The two period RSI plots at exactly, and the reason I use that, I use a short term stochastic. In fact, this green line here and red is all based upon my short term stochastic. The reason I use the two period RSI, and you may notice that I don't have it on other charts, is when you have an overlay chart and you go sideways, you get a delay. 
Anyway, without going right into it now, it makes my charts cleaner, but that's a two period RSI. But market turns, as you can see there, and here it picks, now you don't wanna be in too long after it turns. Okay, so remember over here, just was it down here, I said it was too far, we were already too far into the move. Here it's very easy. We get a rollover and I get a crossover there. That is a trade within itself. See this one here, how we turned and almost straight away, I've got a long trade. All of these are mechanical trades in their own right. And we will go back to the PowerPoint for a moment. We're just fluffing around here. And by the way, when you get a market like this, now obviously it's, as I said, it's holiday week this week. There are two types, well, mainly two types of stops we have. You've got a, or really three. One, you get stopped out and take a profit. Number two, you get stopped because it goes against your stop loss. Number three can be what we call a time-based stop. That is traders, we are what we call momentum traders. And as momentum traders, normally, we would probably, we'd be in our second or third trade by now. But there's one other thing you can be doing, which I must show you this. You can drop your time frame down, which is what pulls trading. Uh, I'm on a two tick chart. Believe it or not, you can actually be trading a one tick chart. The one tick will give you more trades, but you also end up with a lot more what we call noise in the market. Okay, so you get a lot more noise in the market. However, if you wanna put your stop loss say here or under here and you've got an earlier entry, your stop loss is also smaller. So rather than say typically per contract, if you're trading 10 lots, you'd have a $500 stop, $500 stop loss on the 6C. If you're trading 10, the six tick stop, it's only $375. So your stop loss is a lot smaller. And in quiet markets, okay, um, you actually had a trade entry just here. On the close of your fourth candle, you would have had a trade entry um, just there. Okay, it gets you in quicker and you can get out a lot quicker. Now, we'll come back. I've got the Aussie on another uh, chart here. Uh, and here it is here. Let me show you this. Remember before I spoke to you about divergence. There is now divergence on this trade. Still could go against us. See that just there? See, we've got that double top here. I want you to imagine you're a pilot. Once you understand what you're looking for on these instruments, you get to read these exactly knowing what to do and how to read them. It's not rocket science, it truly isn't, but I want you to imagine you're a pilot flying of an evening. You rely on these instruments, okay, they're tools of our trade to tell us this is now setting up to be what we call a bet the farm. So for many members in the room, and I haven't had a, look, haven't had a read here, but, everyone, but this is a bet the farm potentially setting up. A bet the farm potentially, we need the anchor chart, one candle to close again. Oh shit, and look, excuse my language, sorry, we're right on the pivot too, bummer. Okay, I, and quite frankly, I didn't even really know, we're right on, just notice that here, we're right on the pivot. So that makes this double bad for me right now, we're right on the pivot. And we just got stopped on that. But a bet the farm is when you have a double top or a double bottom in the direction of the trend. Now, let me show you this here then. So going back to this for a moment, let me catch up to where we were just down here. Okay, so if we, if we got some time, we'll actually have a quick, uh, g'day Peter, uh, no worries, you're welcome. Uh, thanks Peter, same to you. All right, so let me show you for a dollar five an hour, how I can train you. Now. I don't ask for testimonials and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but traders, the amount of success stories I've got are in the hundreds of traders, okay, learning 200 per day, 
double my account um, uh, and I can just look this I've got literally and in fact just on my PC <laughs> I just have a testimonial folder just literally test those to use with hundreds just as I get emails I'll just pop them in there so I won't go into them because hopefully what you can see the setups that I I, I teach a mechanical rules based based on pure logic okay and for what I charge is peanuts okay Tommy up 550 um, just keep going down here look I, I can oh, this is Ali now remember Ali I mentioned he's the one uh, and that's what I wanted to show you was the powerpoints that have been provided by my members uh, last five days he went to a 90% win rate an average of 30 points profit trading 34 B's two B's and sometimes the pivot magnet trade with momentum uh, members that send their charts in thanks very much just with trade after trade after trade. But what I wanted to show you was this. <clears throat> this PowerPoint was, was sent to me by, it's 76 pages, sent to me uh, by um, one of our members by April. And down here, just gonna show you this, uh, her son come up, her 15 and 16 year old son who are now trading with, they call this the ice cream sandwich. And one of our members, uh, another member, prepared a PowerPoint based upon this sandwich concept as well, which I won't get into right now. But here, she's averaging 80 to 85% winning trades. Another one, PowerPoint from members sent in. The Big Dipper by Franz. And Franz has identified two patterns that are based on my super scalper he calls it the big dipper okay very straightforward and so he's put in very very um, uh, comprehensive powerpoints for our members and so we've got members providing all these different spreadsheets and um, powerpoints etc okay so we've got this community happening so traders how do we get you where you're earning you one to three hundred, four hundred dollars per contract. Well, there's only one way to do it, and that's monkey see, monkey do, and that's by attending coaching where you're just not watching the video, but I'm teaching you step by step in my sessions. Now, learning or mastering how to day trade can be a bit like drinking out of a fire hose. My job is to make it as simple as possible, and that is. I've got traders that have been trading for years and years that are in the triple live trade room every day, but then I've got brand new traders that have never traded before. So there's three things that we do. Number one is my foundation program, which is a day traders fast track program, which has got dozens of training videos. There's over, there's close to 40 PowerPoints in it. There's a ton of stuff there. But then twice a week I run live two hour private group coaching sessions. If you can't make it, they are recorded. And I'll show you what we do in those in a moment. Then three times a week, I run a live trading room. Where for two hours, uh, uh, just before the New York market opens, you can get to attend three times a week where we'll do live trading and coaching in that session. Usually it's it'll be on the Euro or on the micros. That's where most members start with. So first of all, in the Day Traders Fast Track program, uh, there's all the strategies that I teach. There's PowerPoint, there's videos, et cetera, et cetera, in there. Okay, and as I say to all members, make no mistake, this is a $10,000 um, program, just the, the Day Traders Fast Track program alone. That is, if there's a better indicator or a better strategy out there, I'll tell you about it. I'd reverse engineer it but simplicity is what works traders, it really does. You get to learn all of my setups, how to trade the hard charts, the PowerPoints, the best time frames, the best time of day, which are the best markets, which are the best indicators. And of course, all of my indicators are free. 
this matter. I don't have every indicator for every platform, but if you've got NinjaTrader, TradeStation, Think or Swim, uh, and if I don't have the indicator, I give you the indicator settings anyway. I've also hired a hypnotherapist to prepare training sessions or, or um, hypnotherapy sessions for my members. And that is um, Mastering Your Mind. I've done trading psychology webinars. If you're into NLP or don't know what it is, you still will, still will soon will. The Discipline Trader. Uh, so there's just a ton of recordings and things in the psychology section. I mentioned that there's hundreds of videos. No, you don't have to watch them all, but I keep them and I record as I record over the years, you get links to those. There are hundreds of marked up charts, okay, of all of the setups. There's dozens of folders in the members area, traders. It's a, as one member described it, it's a gold mine of information. You click on the new member downloads, there's cheat sheets, there's just a ton of material. So I mentioned now there's actually over 40 PowerPoints on the strategies. If you scalp, if you're a scalper, PowerPoints and handouts on scalping. I mentioned there's cheat sheets and reference guides. There's, um, and we cover all of this in the coaching sessions as well. So if you can't attend, uh, you just simply watch the, we'll watch the recordings where I train you how to use these different spreadsheets. For an example here, how many trades a day do you need to undertake to hit your 200 a day? So this will give you based upon your win-loss ratio, how many trades a day you need to then take. Now, the next thing then is that mastering out of day trading, not something you just don't read um, a, a book or watch a video, it's an ongoing process. And that's where my private group coaching sessions come into it. So for over five years now, I've been running these um, sessions, eight sessions a month. There's um, uh, dozens of handouts in each session and no, we never get through them all by the way. But where we're discussing every day, trades of the day, where you would have got in, where you would have got out, your income targets, psychology, um, questions from members. So each one of these sessions is live, but they're also recorded. So if you can't attend this from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Or is it Wednesday and Thursday? No, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, let me tell you, I get lost all these global times. Every Tuesday and Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. we run these sessions. Okay, in them, the best time frames, once again, members Q&A, um, where we would have entered trades, etc. Right, I won't go through all the things that we cover, but then we've got the live trading coaching room. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. And this is where we're covering in great detail. Uh, we're doing some live trading. You're covering, you're watching me trade live. I'm explaining the setups where to stay out, why I'd take a trade, why I wouldn't have, or if I got stopped out, like out of that one there, but yet all of the trades, there are a ton of winners all beforehand. You know what? The individual trade means nothing. You know, the individual trade. Now, as a new trader, you might have thought, well, okay, I will wait what Ray teaches, which will get me in a little bit later, but see how, my slope indicator did not give me the red go ahead. Yet on all of the ones prior, it did. Okay, so little things like that, you're gonna be learning uh, when to take a trade and when not to take a trade. So here I'm trading live, uh, that was a winner, winner, um, that was a winner. Uh, some trades, if I didn't take them, okay, um, you know, <laughs> as I said, anyone can read a book or watch a video, but there's nothing like as you're watching the trade set up step by step. And once again, the results from members in the room speak for themselves. Four trades, four wins, 13 wins. So I was just short on the 6E, et cetera. Uh, as April says, I don't charge enough. <laughs> right, so bottom line is this then traders, what's, this, what's your investment? Because in the end, 
the only way or the best way, shouldn't say that's an insult, to really master the art of trade is to come and join me. What would it be worth to you if I could teach you how to earn an extra 1,000, 10,000 a week starting with a small account? Would it be worth five to 10,000 for a lifetime of financial freedom? Of course it would be worth five to 10,000 if I was charging that. But of course I'm not charging anywhere near that. So your investment normally, if you go to my website, to buy the Day Traders Fast Track program is, is $197. That also includes lifetime access and it includes all of my indicators, full email support. That's what I provide for $197. The six month private group coaching sessions is normally $197 a month over six months that would be $1,182. But likewise, with my live trading room, your investment of a live trading room over six months, $197 a month, that is $1,182. And I've mentioned that the live room, uh, trading room we have just before the New York open up to 7 a.m. Now, if you decide to join with what I'm about to give you here is I'll save you another 2,364. In other words, I'll increase the membership from a six month membership to 12 months. So for a 12 month membership, I'll give you my Day Traders Fast Track program, 12 months of my twice a week coaching program and of my live trading room three times a week for a year. So that's a couple of hundred live trading sessions and coaching sessions. Plus I'll give you the last year's recorded sessions of um, uh, the coaching sessions for only $497. So the bottom line is for $210, sorry, $210. <laughs> I wish it was $210 for me, for $2.10, you get to attend each live or, or watch the recorded session for a year for only $2.10 each. Now, if you're already a member of the day trainer, I can actually see two names here that are not in the live room, you get a further $100 discount. So if you're already a member of the day traders fast track program, it's only $397 to join. So for $497, I coach you for a year. All of my handouts, all of my PowerPoints, all of the email support, all of the rooms for one whole year. Traders, there is nothing like it out there. I only employ two staff that are based in the Philippines because the question is, well, how can you afford to do it for that? I've got, as you know, hundreds of members, but it's just myself and my two support staff. That's how come I can do it. You probably gathered I love what I do. Now, in the go to webinar to join, you can download a little document there that's in the go to webinar folder there, which is here. It's got the links. So for 497, you get 96 coaching and mentoring sessions over a year. And you also then get, um, where is it here? How many was the live room? 144 live two hour um, uh, live trading sessions, okay, over that time period. Plus you receive all of my indicators, plus the entire Day Traders Fast Track program for 497. And the link down there is for 397 if you're already a member. So most commonly asked questions I have, uh, which markets, and by the way, look at that Aussie dollar. <laughs> Sorry everyone, I've got to show you this. Here's the T12. This is another 100% mechanical entry. What did that turn into? A pivot magnet trade. Remember what I said to you earlier about the 200 EMA? A T12, there is one right there. Now, where's your entry? That's the most important thing. Your entry is not until the anchor chart one candle closes. 
If you don't have NinjaTrader 8, sorry, if you've got NinjaTrader 8, see this little tool here. This will tell you exactly when the candle is going to close. So what you can do is right click. I don't have it on that chart. So I'll right click on this one. I can then go and put a sell stop in, how many contracts I want, lift it up to the, the sell point and have my order sitting in there. So what I'm also training you to do, of course, no matter which platform you use, when do you enter a trade? Where, where do you place your stop loss? Okay, whether it be tick above, a tick below this swing, below here, one tick above, etc. So traders for four hundred and ninety-seven dollars, you get um, uh, all of that. On top of that, of course, there's uh, I've already mentioned the cheat sheets. Depending on which market you're trading, okay, um, just about every market. If I don't have a cheat sheet on it. And how we go on the targets we go for, I make it, make it up for the members. Okay, so if you come to me and say, how do I do this? If I'm not sure, I find out. Oh, and this is what I was going to say too. Looking at that before, you know, the ice cream sandwich, whatever it was, one of our members, Raymond, he just created this handout for members when not to trade also. So once again, we've got all of these updates coming in from members. So traders, we've covered a, a lot of information uh, in this session. So if you want to make 2023, this is it. This is it. There's nothing like this. The setups, um, uh, the once again, the R&D, the research, it's all done there for you. Okay. So traders, um, uh, we'll finish up there. So I hope that... Um, uh, I see you as a member and certainly that you picked up some ideas because we covered a lot of information in this session. So thank you, traders. Look forward to seeing you in my coaching room and trading room. Thanks, traders, for attending. Uh, the link I'll keep up for a few more minutes so you can download uh, the link to join. So it's in the GoToWebinar document there.